Oh my gosh, how are you doing? I'm okay. How are you doing? I hope oh, you weren't injured. Oh no, no, it was uh, it, it it was it was nothing. It was nothing. The first time Greg Spike and Stacy Barkley met was when he rescued her from her hotel room at the Valley River Inn right here, which had caught on fire. And now they're connecting for the first time since that fire. Get out! Get out! Get out! Just thank you for being a caring person. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. You risked your life to come help me too, not knowing what was there. So you're a wonderful human being and I'm blessed to have met you. Can you just walk us through what happened? What, what were you doing in your room? When did you realize the fire started? Barkley and her husband had flown from their home in Chicago to the Pacific Northwest to reunite with her family when the fire broke out in the room adjacent to her room. She was crafting and watching TV when her room began to fill with smoke. I was afraid to escape through the front way because I didn't know where the fire was. So yeah. I thought I'd better off jumping off the balcony yeah, yeah. than trying to make my way through the hotel. Spike was on a jogging path nearby and heard her call for help. He then called for her to jump and said he would break her fall. Go! I got you! Oh. I saw Greg and just screamed for for help and he came right over. So I really appreciate that he did that for me. Not anybody would do that. So. Um, and you were very calm and helpful to try to keep me calm. And then I just threw things over <laughs> to Greg and climbed myself over the railing and hung down and he grabbed me. The fire chief says they appreciate Spike's bravery. When bystanders step in while we're on our way, uh, they truly have the ability to make a difference. Uh, and so we really appreciate the work that that individual did. All I could think of was I was not with my family, my loved ones. That's what scared me the most. Yeah. That I was going to die by myself or something. My son's wife is pregnant with my first grandchild for him, from him. <laughs> and I was thinking about that. You're here. I'm here. <laughs> it's all that matters. And they are all safe. In Eugene, I'm Juliette Smith.